When using prior knowledge to connect with text, there are a couple different strategies that you can use. I'm going to show you some of these strategies using uh, an app called Jamboard uh, that you can kind of use as an interactive tool. So the first big thing that you need to do as a, as a learning coach is to really uh, help your student pause. There's no reason to jump into something before really diving in to look at it. So a couple things that you can do when you pause are, are uh, asking questions. So a couple of the questions that you could ask are, first of all, what experience have you had that might be similar to what this book cover is telling you? So you're looking at the cover, you're slowing down, you're looking at the table of contents. This is another wonderful page to look at right here. So again, the big thing about this is you have to slow down. Then, as your, as your student starts coming up with ideas, there are a couple different things you can do. The first thing you can do is he, can, he or she can simply type a list. But another cool and great idea is to create post-it notes. Post-it notes are great tools that you can use and you can change colors and you can use these notes to really help kind of hone in on the different ideas of the book. So if we were to look at the cover, and I'm just going to use this as an example, um, my fifth graders used Pearl Harbor last week, and we actually did something like this. Looking at the, looking at the cover, your student might not necessarily have a very uh, strong knowledge of Pearl Harbor, but they might look and say, this looks like a war. So they're going to put it in that post-it note, and then we can put that over to the side here. And it's yellow. So we can kind of hone in on what yellow is. Yellow is looking at the picture. Then I can look at the title, and I, a, a student might say, well, I know that's a place. So we can create another post-it note here, and I'm going to make this one blue, and I'm going to say it's a place. And maybe I might even know a little more than that and say, oh, this is in Hawaii. So I'm going to say it's in Hawaii. Now, many times students might not know that much, but the more they know, the more you can use it. So then we can kind of put these post-it notes all around, oops, uh, all around, sorry about that, what we know. So, then you can ask more questions. What do you know about the genre? So looking at Pearl Harbor, I'm going to assume as a student or even as a learning coach that this might be an informational book. There are many books written about topics such as Pearl Harbor that would be more uh, fiction or realistic fiction, historical fiction, where there are fict fictional aspects. And that's something that you can definitely talk about with your student. But if they look at the cover and they look at what some of these different uh, different contents are, they might be able to assume, and you might be able to assume, that this is going to be a nonfiction. So then start talking about nonfiction. What is nonfiction? Well, your student might say, and I'm going to change colors again, something, whoop, something that is true. And now you can talk about how what they're reading is going to be true. It's based on the real situation. So it's going to talk about as we look at these words again, the road to war, the different attacks, what happened because of it. And then you can go even further and say, well, what do you think that this might have done to cause the war? So these are all different strategies that you can use before you even start reading. And then as you read, you can revisit these. So, for example, you can talk about what some of those truths are. You can talk about what the war was. And then at the very end, a great question to ask is, using what you already knew about the topic before the book and what you learned, did that information help you understand more about Pearl Harbor? And what do you understand more about Pearl Harbor? Then you can go into those deeper questions about cause and effect. And you can even look at more of the pictures throughout the book. But the important thing, again, is to pause. It's to pause at the beginning of the book. It's to pause throughout the book and ask questions. And then at the very end, to revisit what you had talked about before the book, during the book. And that'll really help with the student's comprehension because you keep revisiting some of these main topics and main points. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit about the pre-reading strategy using prior knowledge to connect with text.